we go. This one was a garage sale and right down my street. Bought a bunch of stuff, some core stuff, some other stuff, Mickey Mouse. And this is the Rudolph, the Island of Mi Misfit Toys, Santa's Castle, brand new in the box, but the box is a little bit worn. And uh, I, she actually said $2, okay? That's what she told me. It's Mike, the Golden State Picker, with another video about the stuff I sold while on vacation on my home on the East Coast, North Carolina. And I'm going to show you about 20 items that I sold in this one. Overall, sold 86. Another item had sold 86 items uh, while gone. And uh, it has been crazy. Uh, that is my most ever uh, on vacation selling 86. My old record was about 75 or close to 80, but 86 now is uh, a big record. So it's showing you that there is money still out there. You got to do a few things to make sure you can sell stuff and uh, basically keep moving product. That's the key. Key is listing, finding good items, pricing your items right, all of that kind of stuff. Now, uh, uh, people ask me, you know, are you going to move to North Carolina? And uh, the short answer is yes and no. And uh, we have uh, two kids' papas here. One is 80 and one is 90. So we have to work around that a little bit. And we got to figure out that. Healthcare, all that kind of stuff I've talked about. Um, we are going to spend more time or longer time there. So it's going to be a little bit trickier for me to uh, manage this. We're going to open up another account with my wife. And we will use that for... Um, North Carolina. She already has an account. We'll open that up and we'll use that for North Carolina. So she has some feedback already built up and I've already left some stuff back there that I purchased on this trip with uh, my son-in-law, Adam. Um, I will kind of give you a general photo. I think if I have it up here, I bought some, uh, we were at an estate sale and I bought some Paps uh, Blue Ribbon uh, and I can't remember the name of the other one, Blatz, I think, some uh, bar mem memorabilia. This person owned a bar up in the Milwaukee area, I guess, and retired down in North Carolina. I also got a huge collection of 45 records country that I paid $100 for for about 1000 or 1200 or so uh, country western 45s. I'll probably try to put those up to give you an idea and the, maybe a video of the... Uh, one really cool Pabst. I paid a hundred dollars for the item. I think I can get six or seven hundred as it works. It's really a cool item. So that takes me back to what, what am I going to do when I'm in North Carolina? I'm going to do what I do here. Um, I'm going to attempt to find stuff. It is different and I can tell you that uh, from what I found, the, the, this one particular estate sale I went to, I had two or three people know that I was selling a seller and they came to me say, hey, I've got uh, another guy had some more 45s. Uh, another guy had some laser disc. And uh, they were, and, and I exchanged a business card with them and a phone number with another gentleman. And so network, I'm already starting to network even there. We've talked about that, right? And uh, Adam is networking. I can tell you that Adam has three kids. I think that my, my daughter does the tallow um, business. She is also a foster for puppies and cats has three children, two tortoises. It's kind of a wild zoo there, but they make it work. And Adam is amazing. I mean, he's, he just turned 30 and he is hustling like no one. This is where this video uh, gets going here a little bit and tells you about, can you make it anywhere? Yes, you can. You have to just figure out what your area is going to, what, it, what in your area is gonna work basically is what I'm saying. Now, here is something that Adam just started to do. This is absolutely amazing to me. We live in a community, a uh, newer kind of community, but bigger lots, all that kind of stuff, in a golf course, all that. It's really, really nice. But we're about 20 minutes or 15, 20 minutes from Jacksonville. So we are a little more rural. And what happens there is, is you want to get rid of some stuff. You want to get rid of junk or something that's blown down. I mean, the wind blows there. We had a, almost a mini tornado because we came home from a, 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 a junk haul and a storage locker that he purchased. And we looked like a bear had just thrown stuff all over the yards. 
And uh, basically a mini like cyclone type event came through and threw all kinds of stuff in the neighborhood all over the place. That was kind of freaky, freaked my wife out. But anyhow, I'm getting out here is Adam does several things. He garage sales. He doesn't thrift store as much because they kind of are bad there. But he networks with other people, people via Facebook. And while I was there, this was the great thing. Adam was out doing something and I was on Facebook looking to see what we could find. And somebody had uh, messaged me or, or messaged the, the, the community, hey, out front are these two items for free. One was a Cyclops uh, bicycle trainer and two uh, kids like uh, rolling travel uh, suitcases uh, carry-ons. And I said, hey, I'll take the Cyclops. Adam, right behind me, said, hey, can I have the, the two suitcases? And I'm like, this is crazy. Adam's at this and I'm at this. And so I was about five or ten minutes from home. I was coming back in. So I went to the address, picked up the Cyclops, and also picked up the two kids' suitcases for Adam. Free. The Cyclops sells for 100 Both kids' suitcases sell for 50 and 50 so that happens a lot. I will tell you a lot there where we are. Uh, people are giving away free things, but here's the kicker. Adam Adam does storage lockers. We did one storage locker. It was hot as Hades that day. It was warm, and uh, he made good money. He flipped almost every item. I'm not kidding you. Within four or five days on Facebook Marketplace, that like this, boom. It, it, people pay $10, 20 $30. Uh, fifty dollars. One guy came looking for something that was uh fifteen or twenty bucks. Ended up spending another two hundred dollars going through Adam's garage. So it's fun to watch. I was like, I'm like, my eyes are like, going, this is great. You know, Facebook Marketplace for him is a big boondoggle there. He didn't it just they just need it. They can't get it or it's too far away. So they if it's what they need, they're gonna buy it off of him. So absolutely crazy. But the kicker is he is now in what we call the junk haul business. He's got my old 1998 GMC pickup truck. And uh, the this is, I don't think you could, you could do it here in California, but it's a, it'd be m way more expensive. But where he's at, it's very profitable. And what I mean is some, he puts out Facebook ads and it pops up and says he hauls junk. So somebody in the neighborhood or someone close by will say, hey, uh, I need this to be hauled away. And I went on several trips with him and uh, picked up this junk. And he may get 100 to $150 for the junk, but the bonus is this. There are other things that they're throwing away that he can flip either on Facebook Marketplace or on eBay. Unbelievable. Now, here's another one. Just to give you a general idea, I'm talking about how you can make several ways to make it work, okay? He got a, uh, a junk haul and it was for a pergola. It was like, a, and it was aluminum. And it was all, the, the guy had knocked it down and put it in a nice pile. So we put it in the truck, that's it. All the aluminum in the truck, uh, took it over to the junk hauler now. The junk hauler pays for the aluminum and it was paying like 53 cents a pound. He made $150 on just the aluminum and the guy paid him 100 to haul it away. See what I'm saying? $250 cash. That's a good deal right there. Really sweet. So it was like that all the time there. We were, he was, if I wasn't out with him, he was out by himself hustling. And the great thing is the junk or the, the dump fees there are ridiculous. I don't think we paid more than $19 for a load. So if he gets 150, he just takes it right down to the local uh, dump site, 19, 20 bucks, simple. So there are many ways. So I, I'm fascinated. I'm curious. We've got a lot of iron, uh, a lot of irons in the fire that uh, Adam and I are thinking about. So it's starting to take shape. I'm starting to get the feel. I will list those items that I found uh, uh, next trip, and then I will pre-box them so that if they sell, Adam has to just label them and send them out. So I'm thinking constantly how to make things happen. So keep that in mind when you're learning this. There are many ways to make a buck. So keep that in mind, all right? All right, let's get right into what we sold. About 20 items here. I'm going to go through them fairly quickly. This is $1,300 worth, and I was gone for three weeks. So we're probably going to end up with four videos. We sold 86 items, so that's what I'm shooting for is four videos. Uh, hang in because we're going to talk about other stuff too. Just talk about stuff in general. That's how we do it here. We inspire. We try to help you. We try to show you. Uh, I can show you out in the field, but uh, this is me. I'm right here, guys. This is where I'm at. All right, let's get rolling. 
Uh, you'll see the bin of books. If you're new to my channel, I buy bins of books. Yes, I pay $100 for them. And this one is an old school. This is Ald's Masonry Got Builder's Guide. There's four volumes set here. Really good condition. And um, the Ald's sold for, if I can find it, let me see if I can dig it out. I usually like to look at it, but I think it's sold for $43 plus the $9 shipping. Super nice on that one. Well, since I'm back here, I'm gonna grab this one. Uh, get it out of my way. Honey Hole Thrift Store. This one. It's Vive, V-I-V-E. -V -E. It is a uh, kind of one of those uh, new um, Oculus kind of things. These are the controllers uh, by HTC, Vive, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> it's interesting electronic stuff. And uh, the Vive sold for $175 plus $17 shipping. This was in a like a little bundled bag, and I think we paid like $19 minus the uh, shipping on that. All right, let me put that down real quick. Oh, bouncing around. Uh, that's what happens, you work in this garage like me. That's another project for me and Josh. I gotta fix this up finally, and we, hopefully we will. Ah, all right, let's uh, get into the Bible portion of our video. This is a New Testament, only the New Testament, and it's a large type, and it is, I believe, it's just like excellent condition, a super nice condition. So there's the large type, okay? And uh, this particular Bible sold for $11 plus $5 shipping. I don't like to throw them away, period. There are some that are in such bad condition, they're just not going to make it, but uh, this one is super nice for the price somebody's happy and that's what makes uh makes me happy is when other people are happy ah this is an interesting one now this is american an american uh humorist of some sort ross mcelwee so if you know i i hey look guys i look them up basically and then after that i don't do much so if you know who ross mcelwee is uh put a comment down below nice little dvd set came out of my bin of books and this sold for $40 plus $7 shipping. So nice right there. Basically, those three books paid for one of my bins. And the rest goes to Amazon. We're going to talk some stuff about Amazon later in another video. Some things are going on over there that are wonky. And I will talk about that uh, in a future video. So there we go with that one. Ah, out of the bin of books. This one caught my eye. This is really a cool looking book. Armstrong Sawmill Feeds and Speeds. Revised edition. What? You wouldn't think that somebody would make this, right? But it's just about, uh, you know, maximum tooth bite, band saws. It's just a very cool book. And this is what I'm talking about. When you're at a garage sale and you look at that, you go, that's kind of an interesting title or a thrift store. Very interesting title. A lot of times though, unfortunately, these can get thrown away because people just don't think they're worth anything. And they can be just like this one. The sawmill sold for $50 plus $6 shipping. So a solid book right there. All right, be careful, stay right there. All right, uh, here we go. Same thing, out of the bin of books and I got a bunch of other Wii games. This one was in there and is cool. And then anytime you see these, this particular character, you buy them pretty much at yeah, Mario. And this is Mario Party 9 in the bin of books. Has, it really helps to have the booklet and everything, and this does. And it's go, basically this is going to sit wherever you see the price. It's not going to go for $10 higher or $10 lower if you're patient. And I did. I sold it for $44 plus free shipping. And that's about where it sits. 44 to 49 no more, no less, unless it's brand new. And uh, that also is a nice find. The other ones, what I do with the other Wii and the other games, I throw them into a bin, a tub, and then I collect them. When that tub gets full, then I lot them, and then I sell those also. That's how we do it. We just continually flip things over and over. So that's how it is. All right, let's go right here before I forget them. You know, it's summertime almost. June 21st is, but so we're technically still spring. But 
doesn't mean you can't sell snow shoes, right? These are snow boots for snowboarders. And this is DC. I think that's Donna Karen. Am I right? Let me know if I'm wrong. These are excellent condition. These were $7.99 at Savers before I left. Absolutely in really good condition. They don't sell for a ton of money, but I did get these $58 plus $20 shipping. So I'll take that. I had another pair, I think were Burton's or something. I want to make sure I sold those pretty quick too for about $90. So nice couple of finds for even summertime. All right, this one here, you know, uh, um, man, uh, I can't remember where I got it, guys. I hate to tell you, but it might, it's probably Sabres. It's Toomey, the brand Toomey. Has the initials on it. It is like a little carry-on. And I want to say I got it at Sabres. I probably did. This Toomey bag sold for $53 plus $20 shipping. So keep your eye out for Toomey. Super name in the luggage industry. We went to, <coughs> I don't know where we were at. Oh, we were in Wilmington. We went into Wilmington and we went into one of their malls and they had a Toomey luggage uh, store. So that caught my eye. A lot of great uh, stuff from Toomey and it's not cheap. So keep that in mind. Now right, let's go back to the book portion of our show. And uh, I thought I, I, I did score. I scored a lot of uh, Bible stuff out of my bins. A lot of people who pass away, they were uh, 50s to 60s. So, you know, some people were into a lot into the Bible back then. Not as doesn't seem as much today. No, I'm just stating some what I'm seeing out there. Uh, Matthew Henry commentary on the whole Bible, six volume set. Now, anything Matthew Henry is pretty good. Uh, this one was fair. It still sold for some good money. The Matthew Henry sold for, where did I even put it? I better, but I didn't even write it down, did I? Matthew Henry, $60 plus $21 shipping. So nice, uh, nice little deal. Let me see if I can get that out of the range. There we go. Let me put this one up here. Um, all right, another little um, kind of commentary is Wesley's notes on the New Testament. Very similar look if you take a look, but that's Wesley, okay? And there were only two volumes, the old, the, the New Testament and the New Testament. My eyes are so bad. Notes on the New Testament, notes on the New Testament, two of them. Mike, I gotta wake my head up. And anyhow, <laughs> she was Mike. Oh, help me today, help me. I don't think I got this one down on here. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, anyhow, I think it sold for about 25, 30 bucks. It'll show up up there. Oh, my head's swimming. Uh, this is what happens when you come home, you got a lot of stuff and you a lot of stuff going on. This one, now, I want to tell you, when I'm on vacation and we're doing this too, as I see the items, I go back through them and I'm mentally in my mind trying to figure out where they are in case which one's going to give me a problem. I didn't think this one was going to give me a problem as far as finding it, okay? And this one took me a minute or two to find, but this is the Gallery of Famous Poets. Look at this beautiful book. Old doesn't mean it sells for a ton of money. But it's in very good condition. This person will probably be very happy with this. And um, <clears throat> the Gallery of Famous Poets sold for $30 plus 11 So I did finally find it. It dawned on me where it possibly was, and it was there. So uh, once you start getting 2,000 items like I do, it can get a little hairy, especially when it comes to books, smaller books, all that kind of stuff. So now I got a lot of... Uh, sheet music books. This is George Harrison's The Great Album, All Things Must Pass. And um, uh, this one surprised me. It was worth a few dollars. And this one sold for, I think it was, where is Harrison? 35 plus $6 on the shipping side. So that was a nice one. Very simple. Uh, I love that when I find that kind of stuff in my bin of books. Now, over to this one here. Stay tuned. I got two really cool ones kind of at the end. One sold, both, both sold for good money, so stick around. All right, here is ElfQuest 3. I, I don't know who ElfQuest is, I'm being honest here, but there are some. This is the author, Wendy and Richard Penny, and they're like little posters. If you know who ElfQuest is, let me know. I think it's a game of some sort, maybe, or a role-playing situation. But this was in my... Uh, friend's locker. Remember the locker I paid $2,800 for? It has now surpassed the uh, Japanese mini LP CD collection 
Uh, this is over 13,500 now, and the Elf Quest is 28 plus 14. So nice little sale there. Ah, uh, let's get into some of these. These are the Library of Congress, I think, or the Library of America. Library of America, I got nine of these different books. There are collectors of these, that kind of thing. Uh, they don't go for uh, big, big money. There's the other four right here. Um, and the Library of Congress sold for, digging around here, da -da -da, Library of America, 40 plus $13 on the shipping side. We'll put that here, hopefully it won't fall over. Let's see if you fit here, maybe you'll fit there. All right, let's keep going. Let's got, let's stay, we got, we got to stick with the books. We're gonna to go to the books and then we'll finish the, uh, the other ones. Cool, all right, this is a really interesting book. This is the Rowan Master Book of Hours. Interesting, right? Very good condition, excellent condition. See what it is again. Oh, it's very colorful. I remember this one. Look at the color in here. Super, super nice. Very nice condition. Um, if you know the Rowan Master Book of Hours, give me a <laughs> give me a shout in the comments. Sold for $28 plus $9 shipping. You think when you open it up, you go, oh, that's probably pretty cool. But this might be part of that. It it almost feels heritage book-like, but anyhow, interesting book. And Let's do this. Let's put you on the bottom and put you up here. Now, um, Girl Scout, Cub Scout, Boy Scout, cadets, all that kind of stuff sometimes can sell. This is cadet, senior, and ambassador of the Girl Scouts. Uh, three, like, um, binders of what it's all about, I guess, that kind of thing. And this came out of the bin also. And uh, this sold for just 25 plus 11 I don't like to throw this away. This is like, I know somebody can use it, basically. Just got to find me the buyer. And it sold, so I got 25 for it. So I'm very happy with that. Now, out of the bin of books comes this series by Dan Gutman. And this is Weirder School. Weirder School book lot set. I'm going to put that together out of the bin. And the Weirder School sold for 40 plus free shipping. So not a big amount of money but again it sold for you know uh really decent money all right four to go these are these are the cool ones i got four they're all cool to me but this one's definitely these are definitely good lenses camera lenses 35 millimeter uh, slr dslrs digital and slr 35 millimeters this is a canon zoom lens and i think it's a 75 to 300 this one came out of my honey hole thrift store and this particular lens sold for $75 plus $13 shipping. Super nice. Does not have a lens cap, so I will make sure that I... It does have a filter, but I'm going to make sure, I, make sure I cover that up. There was no lens cap on the top. There is one on the bottom. So it always helps if you have everything. Some of the 35 millimeter can go for a lot. Some of the range finders, some of the 35 point and shoots, Samsungs, Canons, all of that kind of stuff. So keep your eye out for all that older 35 millimeter stuff. Some of it's good, some of it is not. So keep your eye out for that. And take a drink of Arizona green tea. Let the whistle as they say, right? All right, here we go. Let's go into the golf club again. Here it is. This is Odyssey, good brand to find. Odyssey, two ball. Why do they call it two ball? One, two. Looks like a golf ball when you line it up. It has a line to help you uh, aid in alignment. The grip, we talk about that. That is a, uh, a super stroke. Tour 3.0. Make note of that. Excellent condition. And uh, this is 32 inches long. Remember we talk about that. You need to know the distance of a putter, the length. And how do you do that? You have a wooden ruler and you drop it from there and you run that wooden ruler to the top of here and you get 32. Common is 35. 36 is not so common, but 35, 32. This is, could go to a lady. This could go to a junior. Uh, you don't know, um, but the shorter ones, they can take a little bit of longer time. 35, sell more. And uh, this, the white hot sold for 49 plus 16. And I paid 4.99 at Sabres for every club that I got out of this big bundle. And uh, really great. Now, we talked about it in the other video. 
And when you've got a lot of golf clubs, if you're dumping them in barrels, you got to look at the tops, right? But if you're hanging them in the rafters or hanging them somehow, then you can look for the grip to find it. And that's how I found this one again. I said, look, let me see the grip. Boom. There's the putter. Took me all of 30 seconds to find that one. So that's how that works. All right. Let's start out with this one. My friend Roger, remember we just talked about networking with Adam and how I'm starting to do some networking in North Carolina. And my friend Roger, I get got him a, a bag of gold. Not It wasn't a bag of gold. Man, it makes it sound like that. But a jar that had some gold. Some Tiffany was in there. He did pretty good off the jar. And then uh, there was another uh, situation where I found something. I said, hey, Rog, take this. And Roger came back with a solid for me. He said, Mike, you got to sell this. Keep it. It's for helping me do uh, the get the jar and the other item. And uh, just sell it. You will sell it. He said, I can't sell it locally, but you can put it up on eBay and it will sell for around $200. Here it is. I'll put it up there. There it is. A Pan Am. The old Pan Am a stewardess wings. You know that they wore on their uh, their clothing so there it is very interesting and very cool and then Roger gave me that we did sell it what did we sell it for we didn't sell it for 200 but we did sell it for $175 plus nine dollars shipping and that's what we talk about networking I'm telling you it works especially if you give they're gonna give back and it works for everybody, okay? I'm not interested in doing a lot of jewelry. That's just not me. Uh, and he knows that I he did me that I did him a solid, so that's what happens. Okay, up we go. This one was a garage sale and right down my street. Bought a bunch of stuff, some core stuff, some other stuff, Mickey Mouse, and this is the Rudolph, the Island of Mi Misfit Toys, Santa's Castle, brand new in the box, but the box is a little bit worn. And uh, I, she actually said $2, okay? That's what she told me. But I ended up lotting a bunch of stuff. I think I paid 55 for a bunch, and this was in there. I've already made really good money off of that. Uh, I don't know why this would, this actually sat for probably an hour and a half and nobody bought it, okay? At this particular garage sale. But I came along and I knew and I got it. And Rudolph sold for $240 plus $40 shipping. I love it. Wow. Okay. There you go. Another 20. I got to ship these because I'm going to stop. I'm going to ship. And then I'm going to do another batch and another video. And that's how this has to work because otherwise uh, I'd go bonkers. I got to see some progress on my eBay that it went, it's already dropped down to about. 66 or 65 now i want to get it down to 40 by the end of the day i want to get it down into the 20s we'll see how it goes so there you go hey if you like my videos do me one favor hit the like subscribe and the bell notification i don't ask anything else i give away books occasionally and all that kind of stuff i don't sell you anything uh only thing i ask is that you do that maybe watch a video here and there i don't expect you to watch them all but uh, if you like them let me know hit that uh hit that like and, and the subscribe it makes a big difference for videos so anyhow there we go i will be back in the next video to show you some more stuff i sold we'll talk more reselling and many thanks to everybody especially all my long time viewers thanks for watching see you in the next video